If you can, mark your calendars because next Saturday, October 14th, Texans will be able to view a solar eclipse. Meteorologist Elise Smith in Houston has more on why you should make your plans now to witness this historic event. Here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, they are preparing to celebrate the upcoming solar eclipse with science experiments and a viewing party. It all takes place next Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., where for the first time in over a century, Texas will be within the path of totality of a solar eclipse. Texas has not had a total eclipse for over 140 years. Really? Not totality has not touched Texas until and since 1878. So that makes this kind of special. But this hat has holes in it. Dr. Carolyn and Summers is the vice president of astronomy and physics here at the museum and wants to help as many people as possible witness the awe-inspiring event. The longer the tube, the better. From homemade pinhole projectors and discussing the proper eyewear, she showed me all the things you can do to safely view the solar eclipse. And next weekend's eclipse is really like a practice session for another solar eclipse that will happen next year on April 8th. The difference between the two is based on the distance of the moon between the sun and the earth. Either way, though, it's so rare. Uh, you kids study it in school, but most of them never experience any kind of solar eclipse. That's why Dr. Summers advises us to plan ahead and to be prepared for large crowds and lots of traffic if you want to travel to the path of totality. Even ERCOT is already planning ahead and raising concern about the grid during the eclipse. In a statement to ABC 13, ERCOT says in part that it expects to see a reduction in solar power generation as the eclipse moves across the state.